This week, the U.S. announced it is considering withdrawing all U.S. troops from Afghanistan by the end of this year. My next guest feels like that would be a big mistake, not only endangering our national security, but to her, it's appalling because she knows all too well the sacrifices our military families have made during the longest war. In September of 2011, she lost her husband, Specialist Christopher Horton. In a Taliban attack during his first deployment to Afghanistan, he was just 26 years old. Jane Horton joins us now. And Jane, I want to start by saying there's no way that we can understand or repay uh, the debt that you and your family and your loved ones and his loved ones have paid. So we thank you for his service and for yours now as well. Thank you very much, Shannon. All right. Um, you speak from personal experience. Um, you sacrificed your most precious thing in, in life um, to this Afghan war. What are your concerns about the announcement now that it appears we are leaving? It seems that this plan that's in place by the president to withdraw the troops at the end of the year instead of leaving a force to make sure that all of the gains that we've made in Afghanistan, all of the investments that the American people have made in the country continue, it seems that there's a problem with that and there needs to be um, a plan in place so that when we leave, none of these sacrifices, all of the service members that were wounded, that were killed, that deployed, that all of their sacrifices are not in vain. What was your reaction when you heard, because there's been so much negotiation, of course, it, the U.S. is having a hard time with President Karzai, who will soon be replaced with new elections. They've been trying to negotiate a drawdown, uh, get an agreement signed that hasn't happened. What was your thought when you heard that now it appears um, we're going to make the move? I was honestly pretty heartbroken. I was pretty upset. So many people have sacrificed over there and given their lives, and so many families have been broken, so many deployments in the past 12-plus years. And the American people, I understand, are very sick of these wars, and they want them to end. But we have to be responsible Americans. We have to be responsible people, and we have to finish the wars instead of just ending them. How are you doing now and those uh, who loved your husband, his family as well? You know, we're doing okay. Each day we have a duty to make sure that we give everything for this country because our loved ones and my husband gave everything to sacrifice for this country as well. So it's very important for me to make sure that we do everything to preserve the freedoms that he gave everything for. And what would be your message tonight to the president about what he's considering? I think we learned a very, very important lesson in Iraq. You can't just pull out of a war without leaving troops behind to make sure that all of the gains that we made are still in place and that they continue to make sure that the Afghans and Afghanistan is a safe country. We went over to Afghanistan because there's terror in this world and Al Qaeda threatened America. We need to make sure that we continue to provide Afghanistan with stability, that the fragile Afghanistan forces continue to have our support so that they can continue to secure the country on their home front in Afghanistan. Jane, again, we thank you uh, for all that you've shared with this country. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be